welcome back to Expeditions and possibly this is a bit of a bonus video. I'm not sure. Uh, depends on when I release it. And we are on to Arizona and our first mission on here. So this could be a bit of a surprise for me. We will see. Uh, so it's a scouting mission, it would seem. Here's the first serious contract. Government lost a cargo near our field base and ask us to return it you can deliver it to the base and then we'll figure out how to send it to the recipient so we need to take an anchor and a jack screw we need a scout vehicle so let's get ourselves set up so do we take the uh, we don't want to take that so We've got the Coyote, the Coat Co Canyon SR1. So it's B minus, B minus, A plus, B minus, B minus, S, or B minus, B minus, S. So maybe that one. Maybe that one. Did I upgrade anything on any of the others i've got a feeling i might have upgraded the dom se um so i'm going in to customize i've got a feeling no i didn't i've got mud tires available at so um I'm still learning all of the control. So I think probably we want the, so we've got the Don S, the, oh, I think that's one of the DLC vehicles. B minus, B minus, A plus, B minus, B minus. So it's only fuel economy that's the difference. I kind of like the look of that guy. So I think we're going to go for that. Uh, inventory, we need those guys. We've got some fuel. Let's go back. We've got some cash. So let's have a look at some customizations. Way off of that. Yeah, I guess. I, I did put the, the lift kit on. Uh, I have done some stuff on this one, maybe. Um... So do we, we are currently average and average. We put on some better tires. I mean, those are pretty cool. And there we go, good, good, excellent. So we actually get better everything. So I am going to purchase those. We've got the extended winch, which I think I brought as well. So let's go back back into customizing uh do we want to put anything on the roof like a roof rack which is locked so we won't do that i think we're just going to uh crack on so let's deploy and start our expedition so where are we headed off that way let's go uh, i guess the uh the key for me is not going to be gunning it too hard uh, because we don't want to do what i did last time on the very first mission and get stuck instantly because that was a smidge embarrassing. I'm recording this before the first video has come out. So, uh, exit the base. Yeah, yes, stage complete. So, where are we headed? Seems we don't have many options for leaving the base. Let's take a look around. Okay. Uh, visit the viewpoint. Okay, we will visit the viewpoint. I do. I do sort of like at the moment that it's kind of guiding me through things because I've really not played any more since you saw me playing last time. So yeah, we uh, I do need a bit of hand holding still to get going. It, I think 
probably once I've played a lot more, I won't need any of that. But yeah. Haven't said it yet. It's a pretty looking game, isn't it? It might be worth checking it out with the binoculars. We should do that, shouldn't we? Let's go over here, though. Um, there we go. And then we will break out the binos. And start scanning. Bosh. What am I doing? Feels like some sort of weird mini game. Very weird random mini game. The totem pole points to the success path. Should be helpful. Keep an eye out for them. Okay. Uh, okay, we didn't actually get the binos out. Let's get the binos out. That's where we're headed, all the way down there. Okay, so we need to rumble on this way. So let's go. Uh, so I, I saw one of those when we were doing the um, the seismological mission. Good word, seismological. Uh, let's chuck it in. No. Break, wrong one. Let's chuck her in low. Uh, just to use a bit of engine braking. I don't know if engine braking is a thing in this game, but that's what we'll do. And uh, make our way slowly down here. Um, there we go. Doing okay so far. And uh, so we're headed all the way to the bottom. We're headed all the way to the bottom. No, hopefully not upside down. But it wouldn't be the first time, would it? And we've got a jack screw, so we can recover from it, hopefully. And I'm feeling vindicated now by my choice of mud tires. Right. Yep. I think they're going to help us wade through this. We can probably shift back into auto and uh, wade through this canyon. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad I made that shift to auto mode. It's turning circles on all of these vehicles feel awful. Now maybe that's because I'm used to playing farm sim, where turning circles are really good. But yeah, they do all seem to turn like absolute barges as we uh, weave our way through the canyon. It also feels like it's starting to get a little bit dark, so that's a thing. But we are through there, and uh, let's head up to our next waypoint. There we go. I guess it wants us to keep exploring the area. Uh, it wants us to go back there. Okay. Back here. Drop down here. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. There we go. So. Pick up the cargo. Looks like a difficult climb, but if you lower the tire pressure, you'll notice a difference right away. Okay. We know how to do that if we need to, but um, let's see if we can uh, work our way up here. Oh, I think we can just. Yeah. Let's do it anyway just because they asked us to. Oh, yeah, we totally noticed the difference right away. My my one or two experiences of lowering tyre pressure seem to result in us getting more damage. Yeah, well, yeah, handbrake. So we, uh, I don't think this vehicle has diff lock. No. What we're going to 
do is uh, go back into auto. We do have, if we need it, the um, anchor, but we might not need it. There we go. Give it some gas. Do it up. Uh, let's reinflate the tires. And where are we headed? Um, uh, looks like we want to go that way. I think this is one of the cool things about this game is um, certainly for me remembering to not just drive in a straight line oh, and having to think and plan routes and then get stuck and get unstuck. Um, so my, I think the last time I played Snow Runner, my save was completely. I think I might have abandoned the mission. Actually, I got so bogged down with the trailer, at all of. I, I wasn't very far through playing Snow Runner. Um, but my, I think all of my vehicles were completely bogged down. I had a trailer stuck, and yeah, I mean, mm, didn't plan my route very well. I've discovered a new airdrop trade. So we need to grab the equipment. And that's kind of all we can take, I guess. So. Uh, wait a sec. We, we got the equipment box. Equipment box. Yeah, we've got it. We need to deliver. Oh, we need to deliver it. So, do we need to go all the way back to our base? Okay, let's make our way back. I guess, in the words of the Haynes Manual, replacement is the reversal of removing, or something like that. Never did that much with Haynes manuals. We uh, so my my uni friends were into modifying their battered old cars, um, and so my experience, most of my experience of working with Haynes Manuals. If you're not familiar with Haynes Manuals, if, I guess they're probably a UK thing. Um, they were like a a guide for doing a lot of jobs with older cars in the UK. Um, but my experience with them was working on their battered old cars, and yeah. The expression that they used to use was something like that. Like refitting is the reverse of removal or something like that. Um, so yeah, we're going all the way over there. Can I get the drone up? I can. But I can't go far enough to see. I don't think we can edge our way along there, so we probably need to to go back the way we came. Get around the cactus and then down here. Some something that I haven't had to do yet is um, a new addition to expeditions. And probably if you if you've actually played the game, you probably know this. You can extend winches now, so you can use them to lower yourself down which is a cool addition. I wonder if we can get up that climb. Yeah, we're going to try it. We're going to try it. We've got the anchor with us, so... Or the pack of anchors, I guess. So, nothing ventured, nothing gained, hey? It looks like we're meant to go up there, doesn't it? If you're saying no, I can't hear you anyway, so it'll be fine, it'll be fine. We've got this. The fact that it's saving is not encouraging. Um, but, go little truck. Oh, little truck. Ah, it's got it. It's nailing it. Easy. It's quite steep. 
it's quite steep I'm just kind of keeping it keeping the throttle pinned and praying at this point hoping we don't tip backwards if we can get over that ridge we'll be good Okay, easy easy climb what was I worried about eh not a problem at all now don't get carried away no no don't get carried away sorry we're randomly zoomed in I don't seem to have to find how to zoom out so kind of is what it is and we're kind of struggling to turn now there we go yeah man we got this we got this we got this and haha success why didn't it take us that way in the first place um, go steady now because there's some steep bits here the whole build modules thing is something that keeps flashing up I have no idea what that is yet we've not got that far through I've not got that far through the game off we go and hopefully this is where we deliver stuff to round the big pointy dangerous rock and four wheel drive on might turn better with that switched off I guess Deliver supplies, equipment box, yay me. We've unlocked a mechanic specialist. So, and we've made four grand. Very nice. To the headquarters. So, um... Squatters writes, we would like you to visit one of the remarkable places in the region. Unfortunately, it is remarkable not for its beauty, but to the country, it is a trashed, rusty plain that spoils local views and further scares off tourists. We estimate the cost of its disposal, so it needs to be carefully examined. The English feels kind of off on some of this. But anyway, we need a scout again, so that's cool. Um, a requirement. L yeah, one of them. Okay, we'll grab this again, inventory. I am going to take those, um, just in case. Yeah, okay. Otherwise, I think we are good. Um, I don't know how we do specialists. Um, requirement. Logisticians. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, list of special suppose you can hire them. Okay. Logisticians. So I've only got one available anyway. So gives us fuel and repair parts increases our binocular range and marks up hills and down hills. Okay, let's add you, and then we will re-add our scout vehicle with our bits that we like to help us if we get stuck, and let's deploy, start expedition, let's see how we get on with this one, so, um, Bring up the map, so we're headed there first. Okay, let's go. We might need to skip ahead to some daylight. I said last time it 
pet peeve of mine when uh, people make videos in the night time. I'll just get a little way and see how we're doing. Yeah. Skip time. Skip time. Daytime. Alright. Stage complete. Well done, me. God, I'm good at this game, aren't I? Alright, let's go. Visit the viewpoint. God, this, this feels kind of familiar. Um, yeah. Have we got another person in the vehicle with us? No. Okay, that's kind of disappointing. That would have been good. If we actually had our logistician with us. To, uh, to ride the lot. Let's go steady. Go steady. From here you can already see our goal. Look through the binoculars. Okay. I guess there it is. It's a biggie. It's a big one. Right, we're headed there. Okay get to the foot of the hill so guessing we need to go back down the descent that we went down previously and then through the canyon maybe let's try that let's try that Go oh, careful, ready. Or could we go? Let's chuck the drone up. Uh -oh. Wondering if we can avoid going down into the water this time and run along the top because it'll probably be quicker. And speed and power are key when going off-road, obviously. Uh, you know, I've watched the Grand Tour and Top Gear. And uh, I feel those are clearly the way that you should uh, live your life. So as I said in the last video, I do have a wheel and all of the stuff but I'm still playing on controller because I kind of like it on controller it's uh it feels feels quite good as a way of playing the game but I might have to dig the wheel out at some point to give it a try um, that looks kind of cool doesn't it that looks kind of cool with the buzzard circling and stuff Right, what now? Looks like we can get up close to the plane. Of course we can. Of course we can. Here we are. We're like off-roading beasts. Start scanning. Bosh. Nailed it. Oh, oh. Got too carried away. This mini game is kind of weird. Kind of weird. I uh, wasn't expecting this in the game at all, to be honest. Um, oh, that looks. I don't know where he gets his food. Stage complete. Awesome. It's brilliant. Really cool. I am just going to do a bit of random driving. Because I think this looks cool. And that happened. Um, I wanted to take a thumbnail. And I crashed. 
I'll be back when we're back at the top, I guess. I'm back. And uh, I finished crashing. I just wanted to roll up there to grab a thumbnail. And uh, we end up going down here. What I have learned from that is the vehicles get damaged. Which is cool. And, and we didn't actually do any long-term harm. So, hey. Wasn't a big problem. Wasn't a big problem. All right. Uh, what's next? What's next? Uh, explore the area. Okay. These, these ones I find a bit weird. Um, uh, we will do that. We will explore the area. I'm guessing you want us to go down that climb there, maybe? Let's have a look and see if there's somewhere better to climb down, because that looks a bit brutal. Uh, let's run along here. It does look so good. It does look so good. I feel like I'm uh, quoting old Farouk again. Yes, the WWE wrestler. Also a YouTuber. But you didn't know that, did you? That doesn't look like a better option. Look at that for you. Oh, let's not go tumbling down a cliff again. Yeah, I think it wants us to uh, to go down that descent there, wherever it was. Um, up here, down here, I guess, because it's a descent, isn't it? Nice and slow. Nice and slow. I'm kind of glad I put bigger wheels on, even though they are mod tires. Actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Um, okay. God, I bet that would trash your tires. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Okay, where to now, Governor? Uh, okay, back here. Or do we just just keep driving around, I guess, and then come back? Okay, onwards. Let's let's not go charging off actually. Not go charging off. We don't want to have an accident again, do we? It's a bit nice spot to do a little bit of the camp, wouldn't it? Maybe not actually. Might be a bit, a bit hostile. You know, not awful, is it? Not awful. Let's see if we head back to the checkpoint now. If it gives us another one, no. Okay, let's keep exploring. See if we can find where the dude living in the aeroplane gets his food from. I'm guessing he shoots it. You know, it seems like what he would do to me. It is Murka. Sorry, Americans. That's what you guys do. You shoot your food. You don't seem to realise that it comes in packets in a supermarket. And yes, I'm joking. For you, in case you don't get it. It's good humour. Um, okay. Uh, explored area doesn't seem to be going up significantly. So, let's try... I am really bad at this game. I'm really bad at this game. So. Let's try exploring further this way, shall we? In reverse. We seem to be stuck at 70%. 
pretty battered looking car, isn't it? Let's go off this way. giving the car a wash. It's something I don't do very often in real life. Is it not? Ah, examine traces of the wreck. Okay. Don't tell me we've got to go back up. Right. Okay. Um, we need to get back over where we were, so back down there, through the gap in the trees. Over the what looks like board. Over this way. This way, get yeah, up there again, don't we? Can we go that way, maybe? Let's try it. Feeling like there might be benefit in doing that with a little bit more traction. That's a bit too steep. What about? Over here. Maybe this will work. We've got front up. What about if we go all the way down? Now, excellent rock crawling ability. Uh, okay, uh, device. the ones that we can't recover but that's okay it will be there if we need it in the future hopefully we're getting ourselves to somewhere where we can get all the way we're not going to climb up there are we no. go around this way probably be going a little bit slower that's because i've got my tires deflated we inflate them let's go back to that view and okay Struggling to see is the way up in that little gap there. Maybe. Otherwise we might have to go all the way around. Kind of suck. Come on. Yes, I know I'm very hard on my vehicles. Deflated the tires again. Come on. Come on, truck. You can do it. This way a bit. I feel like having something bigger would have been good for this rather than a scout. The, uh, the one we used last time. I feel like we've got stuck. Um, tree anchor. Set. Devices. Winch. 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 Pull. Pull winch. Good winch. Release winch. Go truck. Maybe we should just go round. Hmm. 
I'm not sure we can get so that we're headed that way. I want to try and get to that ledge there, which feels like there's very high risk of us just falling unless we we're burning through our anchors mega quickly. Actually, let's um, winch, attach, and we're going to push out, and we're going to try and use the winch to stop us falling too bad. Okay, okay. Uh, no, we're we were grounded. Um, I want to get over there. Reinflate our tyres before we end up with no tyres. I kind of feel like it's probably worth just taking the beating getting down here. And, uh, heading up the way we went up in the first place and this is where we fell down so we know we can climb up here because we have already you didn't watch me do it but we have uh, the do we have we do we've used our repair points but we've repaired the engine bit which is good oh yeah we we can climb up here Because we've done it once already, or twice, in fact. Let's not mention the second time, eh? Uh, come on. Instantly trashing the engine again. Right, up we go. Yes, second time we've had to climb up here. God, this truck looks battered and bruised, doesn't it? Right. Uh, let's ease up. Ease up. There we go. Expedition complete. Oh, we got a fine-tuned gearbox. Cool. We got an operator. Awesome. Right, that's going to be it for today, guys. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button. Comments, questions, or suggestions below. Thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channel members. And I will see you next time for more expeditions.